we're being asked to condense this as a single logarithm. So solution, this one's a little bit trickier. So for these two logarithms here, we'll use the product rule. So this is the natural log of x times x squared plus 4. So that takes care of this one and this one. Here we have two minus signs. That means two quotient rules. So one thing that you can do to avoid that is factor out a negative 1. So this is negative 1 times the natural log of 6 plus the natural log of x plus 2. And let's check that. If you multiply negative 1 and positive natural log of x plus 2, yep, you get a negative, right? Negative and positive is negative, so things look okay. All right, this is the natural log of, I'll go ahead and distribute here, x times x squared is x cubed, and then x times 4 is 4x. Minus, now we'll use the product rule here, so this is the natural log of 6 times x plus 2. Boom, there it is. So this is the natural log of, using the quotient rule, x cubed plus 4x divided by the natural log of this stuff, of this, of this stuff, not the natural log, sorry. Here we can distribute, so we get 6, 6x, and then 6 times 2 is 12. And that is the final answer. This was a harder problem. Um, I hope this helps someone out there.